Hello, everybody, and welcome to your next uh, C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So this is going to be the last tutorial on templates, and I guess you guys are happy because I guess you guys are getting tired of learning about templates, and they can be they can seem a bit complicated, so I guess you guys are tired of it, but uh, this is going to be the last tutorial on it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be relatively easy. So with templates we don't always have to have a generic types we can pass in non like non template types and uh, we can pass in uh, values so let's say we pass in a value n so with templates uh, let's just make uh, like this section is private or whatever so say we wanted a type or whatever and we wanted a temporary array uh, so we could dynamically add in an array value by using a template as well so we could pass in an integer value here and our array size will be equal to the value that we pass into our array uh, into our template so uh, when we go to our our player and let's yeah let's go to our player so when we when we go to our player, then we can specify that we want uh, I guess to be an integer type, and we can specify a value for n as well. So we can specify ten for n, whatever. So then whenever we whenever we create that, then we create ten elements. Sorry, we we would create ten elements in our temp array as well. Now uh, to end off this tutorial. Uh, because I know that you guys are really getting probably getting bored with templates uh, we we can set a default value for our generic type so we can also we can set that our default value be int and we can set a default value for this as well so uh, and so whenever if we want to use the default values right instead of uh, calling it like this all we'd have to do is just call it like this and then whenever we call it like this, it knows that we should call the default, um, use the default settings that we specified right here. So that means t will be uh, equal to an int type and n will be equal to 10. So we can do that, um, we can use that to our advantage if we ever need to. Uh, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. I made it short, sweet, and spicy for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you practice hard and uh yeah this is wrong up here but anyways i hope you enjoy this and i hope you look forward to the next tutorial so hope you enjoy this thanks for watching and bye